new people. It's late at night here. Wait, where'd my snack go? I can't start without the snack. Sometimes I live in my office, yeah. Well, there was something I was hoping to do today, and I didn't get to it yet. So I figured I was driving home from elsewhere, and I was like, why not just stop by the office and do a stream and get this thing done? All right, so the thing is as follows. As you know, in this game, the world like wraps around. Um, and in the gameplay code, we sort of hack the wrap around by like, okay, if you're near the left-hand side, we draw another copy of the world further to the left than that. And it's the shadows are a little bit messed up, as you can see on the left, which uh, we'll address on a different stream. And then once I'm sort of in it, it pops that to be the main one, and the shadows are correct, and then the shadows on the next one are messed up. Um, but you know, the way this wrapping is implemented is graphically is by drawing just copies of the world next to each other. Now the problem is, in the editor, if I'm going to edit the world, we do the same thing. So I'm zooming out, and we're drawing copies of the world next to each other with the same gameplay code. And the problem is, it's easy for me to get confused about which one is the real one. So I'm clicking on these objects. I can select them in the editor. I can do stuff, right? Uh, but if I click over here, it's not. And, and it might not seem that confusing if I'm here, but if I like get way in, like I don't know where I am, right? And especially if I go downstairs, I don't know. It's just, it's just a lot. So what I want to do, so, so you would think, well, why, why not just only draw the main one and don't, don't draw any repeats? And the answer is, that sometimes you may want to be doing modeling and like checking how things look when they line up next to each other. So for example, this right now doesn't totally match up yet, right? Um, actually really not at all in some places. And so, uh, you know, if you're doing that modeling and you want to know how it matches up and check it in game, then you probably want to turn it on. So, and you'll notice, which one is the main one? That's the main one. So you can see that, you know, we don't draw it on all sides. We just draw these ones. And why is that? It's because those are the ones that are getting triggered by the gameplay right now. So it's not, it's not even doing anything editor specific. So I want to fix all that. I want to add a button over here. We only sort of have five of these buttons. So I'm going to add a sixth button. And that button is going to be the button for um, toggling whether we should draw the neighboring regions. And then we will draw those or not based on the state of that button. So I haven't done any editor work in here for a long time. So there's a button, this is the invisible button, right? So I just searched for that. 
Uh, that's not the right, that's for flags. Okay, it's edit mode dot invisibles. Oh, this is world panel anyway. Sorry, I'm in the wrong file. Okay, edit mode. Okay, draw mode button here is a thing that draws one of these buttons. Um, because this is immediate mode, GUI, I don't have to do very much. Um, I'm going to say do mode button. This was a spacer. That's what's drawing this blank button. And the reason we draw something is just to fill the space, but we don't want it to highlight. So a spacer is just like a dead button that doesn't do anything. So we're not going to have the spacer. And um, we're going to have an edit mode um, wrapping. We're going to call that mode wrapping. So now we need to go to edit mode, wherever that is. It's not there. Is it in editors? Editor, there it is. All right, we have more modes than we're using, but that's fine. Some of those are from the witness and we might add them back in. Okay, so now I need to make an icon for edit mode wrapping. What were they called? Mode wrapping? I'm in the wrong file again. Um, yeah, mode wrapping. So I'm just gonna for now copy one of these and do something ugly and then we'll make a nice icon at the end. So why don't I pick the ghost? So that's mode invisibles. So Sokoban data editor. Oh, it's an editor UI. Well, okay, fine. We started we started putting them in here. So I'm gonna rename this to uh, mode. Uh, wrapping and uh, well let's add that to source control and then let's whip out Photoshop and at least change the image a little bit for now image adjustments uh, hue so when we see the purple Sun uh, with the happy face, then we will know that that worked. Um, all right, I probably forgot something, but nope. Okay, there we go. We have a new button. We can toggle it. It does not do anything when we toggle it simply because we haven't done anything. Um, so that's the next part. I kind of like that icon, right? We should just ship that with the game. That's some serious stuff. All right. Now. Okay. Um, how do I know? Wait, what? Are these not toggles? Okay, the, we, these are our toggles, which means this is equal to <clears throat> this is a this is a witness routine that doesn't make any sense now that these are flags yeah see this is an enum flags which we introduced before so these go up by powers of two um, well uh, Let's just try using that. So um, in draw, something like this, yeah, 
uh, draw game 3D wrapping. So if we're wrapping, we decide if we want to do the things to the east, west, north, and south. Um, uh, if we're in an editing mode, right, we'll do one thing. Otherwise, we'll do the game thing. Okay. So if we're in an editing mode, then we will say if, uh, well, edit mode and uh, edit mode dot uh, 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 wrapping, then do west is true, do east is true, do so. I mean, I could probably pack those on one line, but why not? Okay, um, well, hey look, it's not drawing them. And now it's drawing them. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? That's a feature, ladies and gentlemen. How many people are on? Okay, there's only 91 people on, so statistically speaking, by my viewer demographic, there might be more than one lady, so ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. So, um, well, there's two things I want to do. The first thing is uh, I want to enable a developer. So this file only gets loaded if developer, which means you know if we're not in developer mode, this won't compile. So I'm going to say if developer, bam, right? So in an editing mode is going to be defined whether we're in developer or not. But all this code about whether the editor goes in is only in developer mode. So uh, yeah. So let's make sure that still compiles because it shouldn't change anything. All right. So that's great. Um, I guess we're just making the better icon now. And then I go home, right? This will be a short stream. I like it when I can ship a feature in a small amount of time. Maybe I should just leave that icon, right? Uh, let's do something for it. Okay. Let's go. Image. Duplicate. Okay. Brush. Big br What the hell? They keep changing Photoshop and it like doesn't work. Oh my god. All right. Brush. Big brush. And then image uh, duplicate. OK. We're going to go image size. Every time I install a new machine, how do I do it? I got to go to settings. It's, no, it's, um, there's a thing that's like rulers and I'm going to spend more time figuring out how to set my preferences to pixels than I did doing the feature. What the hell is it? Edit. Okay, it's edit preferences. Units and rulers. Who wants inches? It's 2018 and I make video games. So stupid. All right. Image size. I just said I want pixels. Okay, maybe that just doesn't use that. All right. Image size, pixels. Uh, we'll make it. 
20. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it there. Um, I'm going to, I don't know. I'm going to actually, before I copy that, I'll control I it. Paste it there. Now I have a square. No. Let's not do that. Control Shift E. Uh, control T it down. Mm. Nope. I wanted a proportional. I have to let go of the mouse button first. Okay. So if I just that to let's make it a little bit smaller. All right. We'll go. Okay, wait. I don't I don't really want it to be black inside. I don't know, let's pick a stupid color. Um, something kind of brownish to remind people of the ground. This is going to be ugly. We can fix it later. Where's the paintbrush? Where's the paintbrush? All right. Let's let's then make the outer one like that. All right. And then copy, copy that control, and then copy. Wow, Photoshop actually helps you with this stuff now. It didn't used to help you with this, oops, this kind of stuff. This is, this is much easier than it would have been. That's definitely worth the one second that it takes every time it opens up the file menu. And then I'm going to go image. Uh, no, we'll go FX. Outer glow. Put a drop shadow behind it. Oh wait, no, not on there. Well, I guess we can move it later. I can't seem to see what this is going to do. Didn't look like it. Oh, it, it did kind of do something. All right, so let's... Uh, Well, let's merge the layers. We'll do that again. Oh wait, no, don't don't merge the layers. Turn this off. Merge the layers. We'll do it again. Outer glow. Oh, that's too much. It always looks different in reality. Okay, that's probably fine. I've got my ugly rectangles. At least people know what it means. And uh, save as. So we got to close this. Load wrapping. Okay, so. See what that looks like. Wait, it didn't. What's going on? It saved it as a copy. I said not a copy. Ah, Photoshop. No. No. Fortunately, we hot load. In theory, why didn't that? Oh, because we saved it in the wrong folder. Now. 
We don't want to save it in creative cloud files. That's the stupidest place. Data. Uh, right now, editor data. Oh, no, data. Editor. Not as a co How do I turn that off? Hey, it did it. Wow, that's ugly and stupid. Um, all right. Well, any ideas how to make it less ugly and stupid besides rounding the corners on all the squares like Apple would? Why is Java failed in the professional game industry, whereas C and C++ succeed by a high margin? Because Java doesn't let you touch machine code and or operate at the machine level. And a lot of what we do, we need to get way down to exactly what the CPU is doing, or certainly at least exactly what the bytes are that are being processed at any particular time, and to get very specific about that. And Java is not about that kind of programming. Don't have parts close to the edges. But I'm sort of representing a tiling that goes on. I mean, I could, I could shrink the whole thing so that they all fit. Remove the green background. That's what just the button theme. I'd be floating in space otherwise. Could make the edge tiles somewhat transparent. You know, editing transparency is so annoying in Photoshop. I mean, I guess I can just, for broad stuff like this, I could do it with the eraser. I can like erase opacity like 50%. Hope I don't screw it up too bad. What I can't even like when I hit the bracket to increase the brush size, sometimes there's like two thirds of a second of latency before I can see it happen. God damn, this program is so bad. All right, let me just save that. Uh, that doesn't look so. Oh, uh, what? Control. I have to hit Control Alt Z to undo after a save. I don't know. Opacity eighty six percent. Whoa, that's not what I meant. I meant like fourteen percent, sixteen. All right, save that. Eh, I mean, it just kind of makes it. Because it's got, there's a solid, you know, aqua colored background behind it, so it just changes the color. Have the button theme only apply to alpha values greater than zero. What would be the point of that? Then you wouldn't have a button. <laughs> it would get like, then when there's a scene behind it, like, you want to be able to see the, see this clearly when there's like complexity. I mean, I guess this isn't that complex, but you know. Like, you end up in these kind of situations. Like, if, if that was behind the button, it would look like a mess if, if it weren't opaque. So UI, man, it has, to, it has to interface with the user. Maybe I'll just try, um, I can go into like, Like soft mode. And like, God damn. no, I wanted an erase. Oh, why did that switch to? I want an eraser. Oh, 
Dude, this is so confusing. All right. All right. Something like this. So I'm just going to go, all right. Like it's going to fade off to the... That's kind of weird looking. I wouldn't say it looks worse, though. Uh, no, that's not really recognizable anymore. If I shrink this, does it remember what was out there, or is that good? No, it's gone. It's gone. I don't know. It's not a nice looking icon, but it might be good enough for now. Alpha values of the image of the button, not the screen buffer entirely. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I think I let the artists make them better. That didn't work that well last time, but maybe, maybe with more practice, they'll get better. Um, maybe that's it, right? I mean, I shipped a feature, boom. Let's make sure it works down here. Maybe I should change the upstairs downstairs sometime. Because like we only draw the downstairs if you're below the upstairs, but that's not very convenient. But I don't want to do that tonight. I'll do it a different time. Okay, since we're still under half an hour, I'm going to try, I'm going to back up this version of the icon. And I'm just going to try what, what happens if I go way back. Oh, can I not go back further? I, I don't understand. Why Photoshop is Photoshop. Wait, what? Oh, I'm in some mode right now. All right, if I go back there. And then I'll transform it again. The transformers. So 87. times three is 251. Let's get a little smaller. Let's try that. So there, apply. I'm just gonna All right. Uh, 
Eh. I mean, that seems more abstract. It seems like a plus sign. Maybe if I had made the square just a little bit smaller, I could fit the guys with a gap and it wouldn't look like a plus sign anymore. It definitely is more iconic. Of course, it doesn't actually match what's going on because I'm drawing nine of them. So really, really we got to do this. Let's go all the way back because if we, if we multi-transform this guy. Okay, we're fitting in 256 pixels. It's three wide, so like... 80, 74, I don't know, try something, 74, control, no, control A, control T, why isn't that doing something, control A, control, control T, bro, you're supposed to put me in a mode, what's, Okay, whatever. I'll, I'll do other things first anyway. Paint brush. Oh, the layer wasn't selected. Thanks. Thanks, Photoshop. I'll make it a slightly different color. All right. So, Control T, 74. That's my best guess. All right. Apply. Nope. All right. And then we'll merge that, and then we'll go. Oh. Don't cut it. Don't cut it. Why is it telling me? Yeah. For some reason, it doesn't tell me gap size in that case. It's not smart enough. All right. No, I, I was beast. Yeah, okay, finally. All right. Merge that, save it. Now it's just big and obtrusive. So much for what I said about not scaling too much. Mm. 
still awful, but so now we've got like optical illusions going on in the intersections and all these great things. I don't know. Do I like this or do I like the other one? I did try reducing the alpha to outside squares before. It didn't really do anything useful. Maybe the middle should have a different color to denote the toggle. Okay, I buy that. I buy that. What am I going to do? Where's the freaking dropper? There it is. Boop. We'll kind of actually let's go let's go do the outer first. Boop. We'll kind of pick it pick it up a bit. Boop. And then inner. Oh, we never did our outer glow on the squares. Why are the tooltips animated? That's really dumb. Yeah. Let's uh let's do some effects, man. It gives it a little beef. Gives it a little beef. You know, we're not really getting the same colors in the game. So I have a feeling the gamma is off on these textures. Anyway. So that's going to be something to investigate. I mean, they don't look totally wrong, but I don't know. Maybe that's just a color contrast thing. Anyway, the this white is too much. So let's try. Uh, 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 uh. Paintings. Just expands it every time. I guess because I resize it. It's a little too close. Eh, I just want more. How's that? You know, that's not the worst thing. It's not the worst icon. If Photoshop is in default settings, should you enable linearize color space? What does that do? Make it a 3D plane? Nah, <coughs> I don't want to make it a 3D plane. I mean, I can just take a screenshot of this mess terrain, and that can be the icon. Well, I think we're going to call that the night, and I'll go home and go to bed. People will come in tomorrow morning. And there will be a button where there wasn't a button.
Right, but the question is, how does it change how the gamma works? Is it does it just change how things cosmetically look on my monitor, which is not calibrated or anything, by the way, or does it uh, actually change the mapping of colors into files, which I really don't want right now? That would that would be a bad thing. Perspective project. I don't want a perspective projected. I don't want to. Why would that be better? All right, good night, everybody. I'll see you later. Oh, wait, I got to check it in.